yeah. gloomy, a little bit gloomy. Past couple of days, it sounds like things are going to kind of turn around for the weekend, but it's, it's going to feel more like fall, right? Oh, yeah. it's going and, and in between, we're going to see a little glimpse of some tomorrow that will tide us over. <laughs> a Wednesday <laughs> glimpse <laughs> that will get us to Friday, at least. Rainfall totals overnight, mostly into early morning. Pretty heavy in a lot of spots. 1.8 was Cassett. Portland, a little over one and a half. A lot of us clustered around an inch or so of total rain. All this helping the drought. You, you, you felt the change, right? In July, we really couldn't get any rain, and then we started to get some storms in here, and we're slowly beating this drought back. So we'll have a look at that on Thursday when the newest drought monitor comes out. A couple of sprinkles still left out there. I don't think there's a whole lot of heavy stuff tonight, but um, overcast, occasional mist and uh, showers coming through. Temperatures mainly staying in the mid 50s as they have been for quite a while now, dropping briefly to the um, upper 40s by early tomorrow morning. So tomorrow is going to just be a battle of, of eroding this cloud deck. So the clouds will be thickest here. We'll be able to slowly erode the clouds along the coastline in western Maine by the middle of the day into the afternoon. So finally some sun there. If you're in um, Machias, Probably not. It's probably going to stay cloudy through the day and then sunset comes and washes away the clouds doesn't do you too much good. Next front comes in on Thursday that showers and thunderstorms. I'll tell you this model seems a little fast with it getting it out of here so quickly in the middle of the day. I think we have at least a half day of rain, some downpours and then maybe some late break of sun before the sun sets around 630 this time of the year. So there's that front more downpours there and again more moisture to be had and then high pressure builds in. Friday, Saturday and Sunday all look pretty good, but very breezy. And part of that is Fiona, which is now a Cat 3 hurricane. It'll move just to the west of Bermuda and it gets, for all intents and purposes, relatively close to down east Maine here on Saturday. This is what the map looks like on Saturday. Look at that bowling ball. Every one of those lines is a certain amount of sea level pressure. So it shows you a very intense storm just to our east on Saturday. We do uh, feel that it will stay away from us, but it will be probably pretty windy over down East Maine, which is what windy DE means. It's not really an accepted abbreviation, but it doesn't fit in there. Looks good on Sunday. There is a lot of sun in there. Temperatures though, as you mentioned, Coco, coolish 60s overnight lows. A lot of us will fall into the 30s overnight there, which is, um, yeah, a little frosty at times. Mm. All right, thanks Keith.